Cosmos. Changing target. Yes, of course you are. Let's go ahead and go for tech attacks now. And yeah, approach the target. And now I can go over tech attacks. Now you can see I just touched target him and, and get into a fight. Combat. Six AP are required to perform a tech attack. That is important. Uh, if I only attack once and then I stop, or I could guard. Yeah. Why would I guard at the beginning of a turn like that, though? They are added to the two carried over for a total of six. So in other words, if I stop and I have two, I get another four. You know, you get four ability points per turn it, with a maximum of six at a time. That's pretty much how that works. So if you have two at the end of your turn, you get four at the beginning of your next turn, you end up with six. It makes total sense. So let's fight the drone M because we faced M amount already. So uh, take a firecracker and that's it. Then we're going to stop. Now they want me to defeat this enemy with a tech attack. Right. So they want me to do it again. So punch and end. And you can see there that, well, oh. I'll go over what they just did, which was weird because they boosted and then didn't get a turn. So there's no point in me explaining boost just yet. Uh, you can now perform a tech attack. Now, this is, I think, a, a great system of introducing special abilities. You can perform special abilities in almost every fight. So, as you can see here, uh, Xion has two tech attacks that she can use, pretty much a distance one and a close up one. She has lightning blast and spell ray. I'll show off lightning blast because I remember using spell ray a ton throughout this game, so we'll show off lightning blast right now. Uh, so, as they said, you want to get up close with a knuckle, power kick. Here we go, lightning blast. Now, I have a high critical rate because I already got a critical. Once you get one critical, then the chances of you getting another one increase. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Lightning blast. Her mouth doesn't move, but she still talks. And down he goes. And I got points times four. Okay. Now, Cosmos is different. <laughs> Cosmos is always different. Yeah, there's there's reasons for that. Uh, Cosmos has three tech attacks. She has our blade if she's close, uh, our cannon if she's far away. But I could just skip all that and do F G shot right now. I don't like that because it actually requires ammo or ether points. Almost always ammo though. That's what that twelve is. That's what. So I don't like it. Performed by can only be used a set number of times per battle. By looking at the panel on the right, uh, right, ammo, EP consumed, re required AP. So, once again, it uses ammo sometimes, almost always with with Cosmos, it uses ammo. Sometimes it consumes ether points as well, and then it requires all of. My ability points so I don't like using those very much so we're gonna go for the close-up one uh, as a general rule I like to stay away from everybody so we're gonna stick with the close-up one right now there's the somersault and our blade yeah cosmos can just summon weapons it's science it's not magic it's science she's an android and then she just shows off for you. And for that one, we got two tech points to either points to yeah, two of each of those points and then two, two of everything. No money, though. You can see on the top right, no money. And I didn't get a good clear time because I'm explaining everything. I mean, otherwise, this would be ridiculously easy. You know, I could probably go through these in like 10 seconds if I really wanted to, but I need to explain stuff. All right. Changing targets, uh, let's go over sub-menus. Entering battle mode. It's on. Let's hear about sub-menus. I don't know how much they explain. Alright, sub-menus. 
Ah, uh, they don't explain what I would like, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, this is pretending that I hit the menu button, because I actually didn't. So, I can use ethers that have been set. Uh, of course, that will require ether points. Makes sense. Then I could use an item that will consume 3 AP. The ether, of course, they said consumes 4. It can be used as a W item. We'll go over that when we... That's applicable. <laughs> because they don't, they don't explain it, do they? No, they do! Um, so then I could select it and then just use it twice, right? Oh, uh, no, it'll affect the entire group. But it does use it twice. Okay, th that's right. I get that confused with uh, Final Fantasy VII in my head because it has a very similar name. It might even be the na same name. But... Right, it uses two, but it'll affect... Well, let's just do the math here. Xion on the top left and Cosmos in the middle. There's room for just one more person. So, <laughs> I'll use two items and I'll heal all three people, assuming that I use something that heals. And I can move. Pretty much just goes backwards and forwards. I don't like that one. Next up, we have, I swear to God, it's pronounced eggs. Like, like scrambled. I don't know how that, how that translates as eggs. Uh, we'll go over what that stands for later, but that's how they say it. They actually say it, eggs, so, right. Uh, we don't have an eggs right now. So we're not going to be using that, obviously. And it consumes 4 AP to get into the eggs? Weird. And guard, of course. Um, it will reduce the amount of damage you receive. And it'll also pretty much... Well, it'll, it'll say... That, I don't like that. Use to accumulate AP for a tech attack. You don't get any more points. You just don't use as many ability points this turn. So, yeah, you can use it to build up for a tech attack and that really is its main use but that they make it imply that you would get more ability points if you had guard active and that's not true uh you cannot escape uh by using the menu uh you have to either use an item which is the escape pack or one of xion's ethers which is goodbye i probably won't be running in this game. I can't imagine a, a fight right now that I would be running from. Okay, so that explains the sub menu. There's still a lot that we need to go over, and to be honest, I don't know if they go over it more later, uh, but for one thing on the on the bottom right, you'll see that to the left of Xion's icon there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is the guy that's going to... Okay, first off, the thing... I get so distracted when there's so many things for me to explain. Uh, the thing to the left of Xion's icon in the bottom right. Um, it's kind of like a yellow circle with the word up next to it. That increases your boost gauge. Uh, we'll go over what boost means later when it's applicable, but that's what that means. I'll try to remember all of them. Uh, you'll see that as I cycle through these guys... The one that raises up a little bit when I select him, that's the one that is on the screen that will definitely get the turn after Cosmos. So, I want him to die. Stun shock. Just tasers him right in the face. That is a huge ass taser. Okay, boost. Oh, they do explain it. Okay. Whenever you do an attack, it will raise your boost. When it goes all the way up, you, well, yeah, it raises the number that, God, okay. Below ability points on the top, you'll see a gauge there that says BG. That's your boost gauge. The number on the right of that, Xion, you can see, is a little bit more than halfway full. On that bar, she has a zero. Should that fill up, it'll go all the way to one. I believe it can go all the way up to three before it maxes out. Are they going to explain boost? They'll set the boost counter at two. Very nice. The character must have at least one boost count 
and must not be displayed in the GTW in the lower right of the screen. I already forgot what it stands for, to be honest with you. <laughs> but the bottom right of the screen. Okay, boostable characters are displayed when you hit either R1 or R2. So, you can see Shion is not in the screen on the bottom right, so I can boost her, and that's exactly what I want to do. So, I hold R1, why it wasn't letting me do it before. The, the tutorial in this game is not that great, to be honest with you. It does require a lot of explanation, and I'm glad to have it here, but it also does, th does things a little strangely. Okay. So, right, right, I will get... Will you let me talk about it? Your turn will come after the enemy's turn finishes. Uh, I, yeah, I could do it during an enemy's turn, and I'll do it after that. But what I want to do is boost. So I hold R1, and then you can see Xion's image on the left, and you can kind of make out that there is a square around her, a pink square. So I hit the pink square on my controller, and she is boosted. And that means that after after this next turn, she will get to go. So, what I'm going to do is finish off this guy. This should kill him. Ah, I already got a critical. And down he goes. And as you see there, the little icon. I guess they call it the event slot. Okay, they're finally going to go over the event slot. Very nice. I didn't think they did. Alright, so those are the four ones. Uh, I already went over uh, boost gauge up, which is the, the yellow ring. The one to the left of that is critical rate up. The one to the right of boost up is points up. In other words, when you kill somebody with that active, you get more points. So if you get the, the opportunity to do it, if you have, if, if you get lucky enough to try to finish somebody, uh, you want to do it with that points plus. On. It'll double, trip, double, quadruple, and times eight the points that you get for killing somebody. Yes, I, I know where the event slot is. Thank you. Um, so there's nothing here. Wow. I went over this critical hit rate up. You have a higher chance of getting critical hits, which is nice, except if you're trying to go for something else. Uh, boost gauge, of course, will will increase faster with that up, and that special points up, earn more special points. That applies to tech points and ether points as well, from what I remember. I'm pretty sure. What are special points? Points can be earned by defeating enemies, but utilizing the special points, players can increase and evolve their character's abilities beyond their normal level ups. In other words you're going to require a lot of different kinds of points in order to level stuff up. <laughs> ether points, you can evolve ether spells or transfer spells to other characters. I don't think I ever did that. I just let them keep what they have, to be honest with you. Skill points, not special points. Special points is all of them. Skill points are specific. Uh, you can draw out skills from accessories, much like Final Fantasy IX. Tech points change the character's basic parameters, in other words, their stats. Okay, so we want to boost Cosmos. You can see that it's green, the green square, but you still want to hit the triangle because it's green. She's, in, she's also in the triangle position on your controller, so there you go. Alright, now, what haven't we seen yet? We haven't seen Cherry Bomb. That is something we haven't seen. It doesn't look that great. I don't know what those icon. If that's what's the word kanji? I don't know if it's Japanese characters that you that you might be able to make out, but I, I definitely don't. Uh, blaster. Yeah, we just do another blaster, and I'll probably kill this guy. I don't need to do another boost, but that's how you do it flawlessly. I need to be cleaned. Of course you do, baby. So you only, I only get two of each of the special points, three experience points, no money. And yes, as we go along, tech points, ether points, and skill points, not special points, they will be changing uh, as we go along. There'll be some enemies that give 
you know, only ether points or only tech points or a lot more skill points or something like that. It's not always going to be the same, but this is still the tutorial, so what are you going to do? Okay, I think we are finally ready to go into real combat. And I wouldn't be too worried if you haven't fully understood the battle system yet. Uh, it's, it's pretty forgiving, I would say. Pretty forgiving. Yes. Transports you to your original location after the battle is over. Yes. Let's do this. It is time for real battle. Against something that might actually hit us. I wouldn't say it's difficult. You know, the game... It, I wouldn't say it holds your hand, but... It's not like you have to have the, the battle system mastered by this point. Even though I wouldn't know what it would look like to master it. And I might never master this battle system. I was about to say, are we not going to do it? There we go. Get out of my way, or else... Or else what? Actual battle. Thank you. The enemies will attack. Keep your eyes on the attack order to avoid taking unnecessary damage. So like I saw before, and I went over before, defeat the enemy on the right first. It can attack everyone at once. Even though that's my left, he has the high HP. Use tech attacks in order to finish him off because he's, well, defensively, physically bulky. These are separated into three types. All right, study the descriptions of each attack that... Oh God, I really... It, it really does affect things, and, and I hope that I can keep them in mind. Um, right, bio, mech, and they do reveal what the G stands for, which is Gnosis type, even though we have absolutely no idea to this point in the game what a Gnosis is. So... Hooray. It's not biological and it's not mechanical. It's other. Although it is a very specific type. Okay, who's the guy that will live? This guy. He is to die then. Um, go with the uh, fire track and spin kick. I should finish him off, I think. Ah, two criticals. Well, maybe just one. Uh, so the one in the middle, it gives you HP too. To be honest, I didn't go over that before. You can see there it's got 80 HP. This guy's got 68. So I want to kill this guy. Even though they told they told me to kill him first, but I, I wasn't sure that Xion could do it. So let's finish this guy. What have we not seen? Have we seen Sword? No, we didn't. And down he goes. Oh no, he did so much damage to me. Uh, so... Ether attacks like he's... Oh, no, they said tech attacks, right? Okay, so let's go for Firecracker and then end. I'm trying to think here. So... No, I can't do it. We'll just finish him off. Let's just finish him off. Yeah, he's dead. He's already dead. Yeah, I don't need to kill him again. I was about to say, let's... Tr You're already repeating? Um... I was I was gonna see if I could get for for points, you know, the times points, but eh, it wasn't really worth it. Let's just finish them off. We can, you know, just oh, whatever shall I do? I got I didn't get the, the times three on one. <laughs> we'll make up for that later. We have a long way to go, of course. All processes to three hundred cleared. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Yeah. Chief? Yeah, what are you doing? You're spacing out on me. Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes and start from 400. What? Huh? 400? Chief, but that's madness. I feel pretty confident this time. But Chief, remember what happened last time? No. Had we waited ten more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Oh. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? 
You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. Well, yeah, but... That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. But if anything happens, I'm gonna shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. All right, all right. And don't deviate from the program. Okay, Mom. Jeez, this is so typical of her. Is Will it? Does she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? Oh, I bet he loves her. You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I told you. I'm surprised you haven't keeled over already. Oh. Hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. <laughs> 